So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new Silver Merlin Annual Pass. I'm going to be comparing it to the other Merlin Annual Passes that are available at the moment and I'm also going to be talking about its value for money and what I think of it as well. So if you find this video useful or you go on to like it, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So if you haven't heard about the Silver Merlin Annual Pass, um, I'm in the same boat as you. The only reason I know about this pass is because I saw it pop up as an advert on my Twitter feed. Um, this pass fits in nicely into the current lineup of Merlin annual passes. Um, this is sort of a um, lower tier um, annual pass. Um, at the moment, you've got the Discovery Pass, now the Silver Pass, the Gold Pass, and the Platinum Pass. Um, so this one fits um, in after the Discovery Pass. Um, and I'm going to be comparing all of them later in this video. But let's first talk about what this pass offers specifically. So with the Silver Merlin Annual Pass, you are entitled to 300 days entry to all Merlin attractions. So with this being 300 days, there are days where you aren't entitled to use your Merlin Annual Pass to gain entry to Merlin attractions. You are, however, able to book up to three pre-booked slots using your Silver Merlin Annual Pass. Interestingly, the Merlin Silver Annual Pass is digital only. This means that unlike other passes, you won't have a physical card to gain entry to Merlin attractions. Unlike other passes, this pass doesn't include car parking. This means that you won't be able to park at any Merlin attractions with this pass. What you will be able to do with this pass though, is get 10% off selected retail and food outlets. As is tradition now with the Merlin Annual Pass, you're automatically entered into the Merlin Holiday Club. This entitles you 20% off all holiday stays across Merlin attractions. Interestingly, with your Merlin Silver Annual Pass, even on the days that you cannot enter attractions, you'll be entitled to discounts on tickets for those days. This means that if you want to go to, say, Autumn Towers on a day where you cannot get in normally because of the restrictions on the Merlin Silver Annual Pass, you'll still be able to get discounted tickets. Because the Merlin Silver Annual Pass is digital only, you will not be entitled to a Merlin Welcome Kit like you usually would. This usually includes a free lanyard, a card holder and a pot badge. And lastly, you are not entitled to share the fun £15 vouchers. These can usually be used to get a friend or family into a Merlin attraction for £15 using your Merlin Annual Pass. Instead, you can get a friend or family in for up to 50% off using the Merlin Annual Pass website. So then, for the price of a Netflix subscription, a Merlin Annual Pass can be yours. Um, £9.99 a month is nothing really, is it? It's the, again, it's the price of a Netflix subscription. And in my opinion, you'll get a lot more value out of this Merlin Annual Pass than you will a Netflix subscription anyway, because you can actually go to so many places using your Merlin Annual Pass. Um, of course, you can go to places like Thought Park, Alton Towers, Chesington World of Adventures, Warwick Castle, all of the many dungeons that Merlin has available and the Sea Life Centers as well. So for instance, if you went to Blackport Pleasure Beach and you wanted to go out of the park for an afternoon for a couple of hours, um, you could make your way down the promenade and go to the Sea Life Center in Blackpool. Um, you could go up to the Blackpool Tower and you can also do the Sea Life Center that's located in Blackpool as well with this pass on the selected days that are available for it. Right, so let's take a look at the Silver Annual Pass then and how it compares to the other annual passes that are available from Merlin at the moment. So as mentioned at the start of the video, Merlin currently offer four passes. The Discovery Pass, the Silver Pass, the Gold Pass and the Platinum Pass. So in terms of entry and benefits, this pass sits between the Discovery Pass and the Gold Pass. The Discovery Pass offers you 200 days of entry on weekdays, and the Gold Pass offers you 345 days of entry across selected days. And of course, at the top tier, you have the Platinum Pass, which offers you 364 days of entry across Merlin attractions. So let's compare the pricing then between the Discovery Pass, the Gold Pass, and the Silver Pass. So the Discovery Pass currently sits at £89 with no pay monthly option available. 
available. The Silver Pass is currently £159 with a £9.99 monthly charge available for those who want to pay monthly. And the Gold Pass currently sits at £219 with a £14.99 charge available for those again who want to pay monthly. Now let's compare the benefits for these different passes. So currently, the only passes that offer free car parking are the Gold Pass and the Platinum Pass. So as noted in the previous section, with the Silver Annual Pass, you are entitled to 10% off food and retail, but that goes up to 20% with the Gold and the Platinum Pass. So what's interesting to note is you can get discounted tickets to restricted days with your Silver Pass, but this currently isn't available on the Gold Pass, meaning that if you do have the Gold Pass, you'll have to pay a full price entry ticket to a Merlin attraction if you want to attend that day on a day where you are not permitted to enter with your Merlin Annual Pass. So lastly then, you will only get the £15 Share the Fun vouchers with the Platinum Pass. This currently isn't available on the Discovery, Silver or Gold Pass, but with the Gold Pass and the Silver Pass, you are able to get friends or family into Merlin Attractions for 50% off using the Merlin Annual Pass website. So now I've compared the Silver Merlin Annual Pass to all the other passes in the Merlin roster. I wanted to give my thoughts on the pass and I wanted to um, basically tell you what, what I think of it. Um, so it's worth mentioning before I talk about the 9 99 um, per month um, fee, um, it's worth noting that this is for a 12 month um, period. You have to have this pass for a 12 month period and you also have to pay a joining fee of 39 99 but after you've done that um, and you're willing to um, have this pass for a 12 month period, it's great. It's $9.99 a month. Like I said before, that is the price of a Netflix subscription. And um, for someone who is a low earner um, or who um, can get days off in the week um, and you're not bothered about going on busier days because this pass is restricted um, for busier days. You can't go whenever you want, for instance, like you can with the Platinum Pass. This is a great option for you. If you're only looking to go for a couple of days a year and you're not bothered about um, full discount, your full 20% discount, again, this is going to be perfect for you. It really is. Particularly if you can get the bus to somewhere like Alton Towers or Thorpe Park. Again, this really, really will be for you. Um, I would definitely look at the Platinum Pass as an option. Um, I can understand that um, it may be out of the budget for some people with it being £20 per month as opposed to £10 per month. Um, but it is a great option if you don't want to be restricted on the days that you can go to specific Merlin attractions. Again, the Silver and um, Gold Pass are restricted um, on the days that you can go. So definitely look at those days before um, you look into purchasing one of these passes because you may want to go on one of the days that are marked off for these. So guys, that's been my video on the Silver Merlin Annual Pass. I've discussed what the um, value for money is for this pass and what my thoughts are on the pass itself. Please do leave your comments down in the comment section below. I really hope this video has helped some of you out because again, I didn't know what this pass had to offer until I actually went on the Merlin Annual Pass website to compare them. Um, I will be making a video very soon about annual passes in general and which ones I recommend getting for the 2022 season. I'll be comparing the... Um, offerings from various theme parks and amusement parks across the UK and I'll also be telling you about all of the um, annual passes that I decided to purchase this year um, myself so again please do subscribe for that video because it'd be pretty interesting to hear what I have to say. So guys I also wanted to remind you as well that I will be going live this Sunday for the first ever iCoaster live um, so please do go to that live set a reminder so you don't miss it because I really really want to see you there. I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Don't